children, before we start the word problems, mainly the word problems related to numbers, word problems based on numbers, let's refresh our concepts with uh, some basic uh, you know, terminologies such as consecutive natural numbers, consecutive odd integers or odd natural numbers, consecutive even integers or for that matter consecutive even natural numbers. Now there are many who know this particular concept but there are many who don't know. So let's see what exactly we are going to learn in this particular stuff. In your lower classes, you must have uh, studied the number line. That's what I'm going to start off with. Can I say that this is my number line? I'm writing, since I've written natural numbers, it could be consecutive integers also. I have taken natural numbers. So if I start natural number, it has to start from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now children, tell me, what is the difference between two consecutive natural numbers? If I have to take the difference between two consecutive natural numbers, 1, 1, 1, 1. Thus, if somebody has to tell me, what are, say, three consecutive natural numbers? If somebody says, or within the sum, it says that there are three consecutive natural numbers, then I shall always say, let the three consecutive natural number be x, since the difference between two numbers is 1, I shall say x plus 1, x plus 2. So what are the three consecutive natural numbers? The three consecutive natural numbers are x, x plus 1, x plus 2. Now there are, there are many minds right now working and trying to, trying to say, Sir, can't we write down x, x minus 1, x minus 2 as the three consecutive natural number? You people are also correct. That also we can follow. The other way is we call, what we can say is the other way of saying is that the three consecutive natural numbers be x, x minus 1, x minus 2. Not necessary that we always need to write down x, x plus 1, x plus 2. It can also be x, x minus 1 and x minus 2. That means here we are on the positive side, here we are on the negative side. In, in both the cases, the difference happens to be 1. Now, what is the difference? Actually, what is the difference between writing down this and this? Only one difference, children. Here, my x shall act as a smaller number and the larger will be x plus 2. Here, my x shall act as a larger number and the smaller will be x minus 2. That's the only difference. So, uh, with this kind of uh, you know, concept, that doesn't mean that if you don't take this and if you take this, you are going to go wrong. No, by no means. By no chance. Only thing is that over here, if you take x, x minus, x minus 2, then x shall tell uh, itself as that I am a larger number and here x shall say itself as I am a smaller number. So either of the ways things are working. You can write down whatever you feel. If you ask me, sir, what you go with, I shall go with positive. Be positive. Always. Consecutive. Odd integers. Odd integers. Now, let me, let me go with a number line. Say integers I have said. I could have gone with natural numbers also. Come on children. Or integers I am just writing here. 1, 3, 5, 7. What is the difference between odd numbers? The difference is 2. 2. 2. Even if you want you can have gone with minus 1 also with a 0 between. Again 2. Minus 3. Again 2. So in such cases, whenever we have odd integers, there are many, many students who have this in their mind. That this is not acceptable what I'm going to write down. But yes, this is the actual reality. So what are the three consecutive odd integers if given to me or told to me? I shall always say x, x plus 2, x plus 4. Why? Because of this fact. The difference between two consecutive odd integers is 2. So difference is 2. Again, the difference is 2. If you want, you can also take x x minus 2, x minus 4, as discussed previously. The same topic gets applied here. x is a smaller number, x plus 4 is a larger, x is larger, x minus 4 is smaller. But there, are, there were many minds initially, if not all, say very few, but they were thinking that how could, how could 2 can come, how could 4 can come in an odd integer? This answer is because of the difference between two consecutive odd integers. I hope those who were having some amount of confusion, now the, your confusion got cleared. Even, again, on the same lines, you would like to say, on the same lines, say 2, 4, 6, 8. What is the difference? 
What is the difference? Two. 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 I could have gone on the negative side also, but still. So what are the two answers? If somebody has to say three consecutive, even integers, x, x plus two, x plus four. Or for that matter, x, x minus two, x minus four. Right? The, so whatever it is, come may odd, come may even. The consecutive numbers will be, or consecutive even odd integers are going to be x, x plus 2, x plus 4, or for that matter, x, x minus 2, x minus 4. For all also, x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x, x minus 2, x minus 4. So whether even or odd, our numbers are going to be the same. But finally, once again, if you ask me what you go with, sir, always be positive. That's my blood group. Joking. I hope my students have understood. Just pay once again attention to everything. Then you can easily solve numbers based on, or uh, rather word problems based on numbers. Uh, maybe consecutive integers, natural numbers or whatever. Kindly go through.